Right, here we go. Here I am with JT. John from Tanyan Piano yeah. Services. Breaking this down for the piano, right? Okay, you ready? Yeah. Uh, soundboard bridge, uh, string system, super important. Uh, soundboard affects our perception of the piano uh, because it's it's a panel that's about five sixteenths of an inch thick, mm -hmm. five sixteenths of an inch. Um, it's crowned. It's high in the middle and only attached at the edges. Okay. Uh, so strings come across the bridges, the treble bridge and the bass bridge there, and they're putting a downward load on the soundboard, causing it to flex. Okay. And that's what makes piano sound beautiful. Mm. So now you've got like this, uh, and if you picture the, the, the soundboard like a diaphragm, that's a, that's a good image. It's a very mm. shallow diaphragm. So now you've got basically this loaded wooden spring. Mm -hmm. When relative humidity goes up, the wood expands and goes out in these directions, but it can't because the soundboard is glued to the rim, which is super strong. Okay. Um, so uh, when relative humidity increases, soundboard swells, it wants to go out, it can't, so the only movement that can happen is the crown increases. Mm -mm. That forces the bridges up, okay. pulling the strings tighter, making the pitch rise. Mm. That's the number one reason pianos go out of tune. Okay. So, if you control the relative humidity, mm -hmm. the moisture content in the wood, mm -hmm. you gain two things. The tunings last two to three times longer, and the instruments last two to three times longer. Okay. Because uh, it's this expansion, contraction, expansion, contraction, these cycles that kill wood. And the soundboard is just a bunch of pieces of wood glued together on edge. And you've already got one crack right here. Great. Uh, you might have another one uh, under the plate. I can't really see. Oh, there's a small one here. Um, and cracks aren't death, the, but they are the sign that the piano has gone through extremes mm. in the relative humidity changes. So, there's a climate system made for pianos, humidifier, dehumidifier, humidistat, uh -huh. that automatically keeps the piano at 45% relative humidity. It doesn't care about the room, just mm. underneath the piano. Got it. Um, the first one I installed was in our Yamaha, our seven foot Yamaha at our church. Mm -hmm. 31 years ago, we went from four tunings a year down to one tuning a year. Okay. <laughs> so mm. it's a bit of a, a bit of a shift. Um, and the reality is then you get to just enjoy the tuning all year long. So, so is there a way to fix the cracks or no? That's not really. No, okay. I mean, there is not, but not, uh, not in a non rebuilding setting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Got it. So, um, I'll show you something. I'll show you what this climate system looks like because everybody needs to know this. I mean, my job is to let you know what is, what can be. My, my piano teacher told me I probably need one. Yep. Yeah. So, humidifier, dehumidifier, humidistat. Uh, this is turning one of these on at all times. Mm -hmm. So the piano stays at 45% relative humidity. When it needs water, a little light flashes um, and you fill a measured amount of water in the pitcher and just pull out the tube. It's super easy. And that's what it looks like underneath uh, the piano in between the beams. So, so it runs on batteries or what? No, it plugs in. Here's the plug like wherever you oh okay yeah. yeah yeah so it's it's kind of a no-brainer mm -hmm. um okay and uh yeah that's it as far as that goes all right well thanks a lot that's a reason why we need a humidifier awesome <laughs>